Welcome again, guys. Welcome to another session of Shomu's Biology's cell, I mean, cell culture process of animal cells. And in this video, we'll be talking about the different types of cells that are being cultured. And actually, this uh, different types of cells can be distinguished and can be placed in different orders according on different parameters. But in this video, I'm going to talk about the cells according to their dependence to anchorage. So let's begin with it. So actually, depend upon the anchorage of a cell, we can have two, di two different types of culture. Uh, the state, two different states of culture and two different types of culture. And first of all, we have some cells that are called, you know, anchorage dependent cells. And we also have second type of cells that are called as anchorage independent cells anchorage in independent cells so the anchorage dependent cells as the term suggests that means those cells can only grow if they have a surface solid surface otherwise they will not grow for the growth of this anchorage dependent cells they require solid anchorage to a solid surface and they can only grow into the surface region right so if we are having a media here and if we have the surface area of the media it will grow onto the solid media and the surface of that solid media right so they will go surface of solid media without any solid anchorage those cells will die right these are called anchorage dependent cells so for culturing those cells we require solid tissue culture media right so, so that we need to add something solidifying agent so that they will grow onto the surface, get the oxygen and grow firmly. And they are also termed as anchorage dependent monolayer cell. Why they are termed as that? So, let me write. They are also termed as monolayer cells. Why they are termed monolayer? Because what happens if we have those surface media, solid surface, if you look at here here horizontally like that. So, let us say this is the media. The cells start to grow. So the cells start to grow like this. So, they will grow until they form one layer of cells. They will not grow something like this. Never. They will only grow to form one single layer of the same cells into the surface of the media. So, let us see here this is the surface and this is the mono means single layer of cell, right. On the other hand, second type of cells are anchorage independent cell. They do not require anchorage for their growth. So, they can easily grow in liquid media. So, we can just place those cells into the media, they can grow and divide and the growth of anchorage independent cells are kind of haphazard. They will grow just everywhere according to their wish, they will grow and divide. They will not grow like anchorage dependent cells. Mostly, this, this anchorage independent cells behave like those cancerous cells. They will grow and grow whatever thing. They just put them into the media, they will grow. No other thing is required. But for the growth of anchorage dependent cell, we need to be very careful about designing the media so that it can completely cover the media surface, take those media nutrients and grow. And their growth will be stopped and halted once they reach the formation of a single layer of cells onto the surface. So, remember in the growth of this anchorage dependent cell, we will get small number of cells onto the surface of the media over time. On the other hand, in case of anchorage independent cells, we can get many more number of cells in the liquid media and they are easy to harvest. The advantages of anchorage independent cells that they are easy to harvest can be grown overnight, very huge number of cells can be produced. But anchorage dependent cells, the advantage is, is that these cells as they form monolayers, we can help them to grow, we can grow them into the cover sleeves, we can place them easily into the microscopic slide because monolayer is very thin, a light can easily pass, we can easily strain, we can look the cell completely beautifully in microscopy. So, in that case, this is good for microscopy, but in this case, the anchorage independent, easy to harvest, easy to grow and divide, these are the advantages. 
right so depending upon the name the culturing is also given the name like encourage independence cells that termed as monolayer cultures that is a solid culture or encourage dependent culture encourage independent cells the culture termed as you know suspension culture because they grow in suspensions so the flasks are there they they may require some time sometimes they require simply putting into the flask but sometimes they require stirring of the flask sometimes they require to put them those flasks in the shaker right so shaking into incubation or stirring incubation is required for the encourage independent cells or suspension cells to grow on the other hand encourage dependent cells can easily grow by putting them into the incubator no shaking is required no stirring is required but the number of cells will be less 